This is Abraham with Where to Live in Northern Virginia. We are walking the pier in Old Town, Alexandria. Just showing you all the sights. What to do when you get here. Why the cost of living is so, ex so expensive. It's because we have all these attractions. That's what it is. It's a package deal. Buying a house is a package deal. In addition to the house you you buy, you also get these amenities. And right now we're on the free amenity right now, which is the Old Town Pier. Overlooking the Potomac River. Overlooking the Potomac River. Right across the way, we have Maryland and the MGM Casino there. So this is, uh, my name is Abraham Walker with Where to Live in Northern Virginia. This is a real estate channel where we, in addition, tell you about the, the reasons why you want to move to this area. We also bring you on little tours so you could see and appreciate the area. Maybe you're not in the area right now, you're relocating to, the, to this area. You just want to see like, what is Northern Virginia about? Well, this is the, this is the channel for you. We help people both buy and sell real estate. If you're looking to relocate to the area, we can assist you. And I'm actually here on this particular walk with my better half, the individual who runs our administrative, administrative side of the business. Crystal, how are you doing today? Excellent. In addition to being the better half for our real estate business, he's also the better half for our family business. He means I'm his wife. Yeah, yes, yeah, that, that's, that's yes. What he's getting at. I am, yes, we are married. And how cool is it to have a business that you, excuse us, have a business you can also participate with your wife in. So, if you are looking to relocate to this area, there is a perfect home questionnaire, near, perfect home questionnaire that is located in the description of this video. Just go to the description, fill out that form, and we can start helping you to either relocate to the area or find a better location in Northern Virginia. All right, so I think we can go on these piers right here. There we go. So good, so if you remember or you recall from the night tour, our night walk, these piers were closed. And I said it on that video, I didn't really. That I was gonna come back here and give myself a tour of this pier. And here we are. How cool is this? Notice all boats. Okay, that, that sign is a lot of glare. This is a solid pier too. It feels not shaking or anything. All right. All boats are private. Do not board. Trespassers will be prosecuted. Remember that uh, party we went to on one of these boats? I do remember that. Yeah, so you, you could actually rent out one of these boats. I don't think it was the, the it water. Was north, it, was one that, it was a tour boat. It was a tour boat, yeah. So, so you could actually rent out these boats for parties and special occasions. What a lovely day.
when we make the loop and we get closer to King Street, you're gonna see that there's like a dog park area. We're about to actually happen upon the grassy park, so I'd imagine that this is for the humans. This is the human park. So, it's a little windy. I hope the audio is okay. In addition to shopping and restaurants, Old Town is also known for being a great place to take photos. We took our family photos here a couple years ago on one of the side streets. And also here in the water, actually right in this area. We also took some photos near the water as well. Um, yeah, we may catch somebody taking photos now, but this is one of those places if you're thinking about catching some memories, you could do that. We have this gentleman here, he's fishing, so you can also fish. Not sure what type of fishing licenses you need. As you can see, this is a proper park. There's little park benches for you to just gaze upon the river. Oh look, somebody's doing a photo session right over there. I think we're gonna make the loop around this park, come back around, maybe they'll still be set up. I'm not really certain why they're set up right there, though. There's not really anything that they're looking at. But you do have that option. There's somebody trying to lay a blanket in the wind. All of that is available to you in Northern Virginia. Since it's a real, a real estate channel, let's talk about a little bit about what type of housing choices you have around this King Street or Old Town area. You can find single family homes, townhomes, and condos in this area. Townhouses are going to be the dominant housing option. And townhouses start in the low sixes, 600s, and go up as high as your imagination will allow. Condos can start in the high threes, 300,000. And we may pass by this new condo development that's actually on a block away from the water. It overlooks the water, but there's just some space between it and the water. And those start at what was the price? Was it 2.7 million? 2 .7. Yes, those start at 2.7 million. So, as you can see, the price of property in this area is only limited by your imagination. So this is the secret. Found this park at 351 North Union Street. And this is in City of Alexandria. 
not to be confused with Alexandria, Fairfax County. These are those lovely townhomes that I've mentioned. If you're not from this area, and you're not used to townhomes, townhomes share a common wall. The lowest level of the townhouse is usually considered the basement, regardless of the grade. And with townhouses, the highest I've ever seen is a four story townhouse. So you see uh, this, this unit here has, uh, let's see, so you see how that unit there has that fourth story at the top there. Some, that's not your typical townhouse. Your typical townhouse has three stories in Northern Virginia. So there we go, we have a lovely family there capturing some photos in their Sunday's best. Everybody with their prepared smiles. One thing that's surprising about the Northern Virginia area is how health conscious people are up here. I have never seen this many people cycle and walk and run in my life. Well, not New Orleans. New Orleans isn't, isn't structured that way. So I really only compare it to New Orleans and college. In college, you know, everybody's young, so. All right, so we're making our loop back around. Here. Yes, ma'am. I see a renting bike station near here. So I guess on oh, King Street, you saw it? No, I said it's probably on. Oh, it's King probably on King Street. Street. Okay.
So just ahead here, we have two rather popular restaurants here in Old Town. So Chart House. Chart House and, and also Black Wall Hit. Mm -hmm. These are actually two rather popular restaurants in Old Town. Cool thing about well, both of them actually, they have outdoor seating. Chart House, you can sit outside. I've been to Chart House, I haven't been to Black Wall Hitch yet. I've been to both. I've been to Black Wall Hitch yet. Fancy. Ha ha. So earlier when you mentioned the boats that you can rent, this is more like the folk room. Ah, uh, yes. This Miss Christian. Mm-hmm. So there is an option if you want to have a little celebration. You can also take the water taxi here, and they will bring you across the Potomac to Georgetown. Actually, we'll let you off because I can post it to the restaurant. Okay. When things get back to normal, we should take one of these water taxis. Oh, definitely. So that's the main entrance of Blackwall Hitch and Chart House. I think I got like a seafood platter or something like that at Chart House. Yeah, I think that's what they that makes sense, being that close to water. Yeah, and then I think that, not certain, certain but Black Hall Witch has pitch, I believe, there. No, for their cocktails. Cocktails, okay. Alright, here we have the Tar Factory Art Center. On the first level, there's lots of restaurants, little dessert shops. But then on the upper levels, you'll find more like more artists and galleries in there. We've toured it before. That's true. You can purchase artist wear. It's not just traditional art, but also like handmade jewelry, things of that nature. Let me just look at this sign. And if I'm not mistaken, can't you take classes there as well? Well, not right now during the pandemic, but. I think you're mistaken it for the workshop. Oh, the Lord. Work. Okay, gotcha. You know what it is? They're, they have a summer camp program here for kids. Oh. That's what I'm thinking about. We've been here at Vola's Dockside Girl. Ah, uh, yes. Was it a guided tour or were we just walking we around? We just walked around, checked out the different artist galleries. It's not really a place, I mean, it's more of a place where there are independent artists where they lease space right. to sell and show their art. So, so we're on the, we're doing just a waterfront tour right now. So we just came from the left, which is the Torpedo Factory and the city Marina Plaza, Water Taxi, Founders Park. We're going to do just a 20, we're not going to do the entire 20, uh, 20 minute walk to Jones, Jones Point. We're actually going to stop at uh, Point Lumley Park because that's where we parked our car. Okay, perfect. And then down this way we have King Street. So let's just get a view of King Street. So that's King Street doing a Saturday. They blocked off the this first block of King Street to give it like a little walk-in plaza. I actually hope I hope they keep that even after the pandemic is over. I think that's a cool feature. Uh, let's let's walk around this way, babes. So now we're at this waterfront park. We have 
grass and there's a little turf area a little dog park a little dog park well also there's also this little sitting area which is really nice it's covered just shaded but it's not a uh, cover from the elements Okay, so this dock right here belongs to Old Dominion Boat Club. They have a little sitting area. There's a little water station. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is that the boat club, right, the there? Boat club right there? Okay. Not to where we walked to before. We got to, I think, Robinson Terminal. Yes. And that's where like, they host their. Um, oh, the, the regatta. Oh, yes. We went to. Uh, we went to one of the, the high school regatta. Mm -hmm. there. Photographers always look so fashionable. <laughs> it's almost like a prerequisite. <laughs> like we mentioned earlier, this is a great place to take photos. Everybody's taking photos right now. This is that waterfront park area. We have a little, almost like an observation deck here with random chairs. I don't know where these chairs and tables come from, but... I think it's great that the park has this new area. I know, right? Let's go over here and look at this cannon over here. So... Look at this, Alexandria Park Love. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's dark. me that is pretty cool that there's a let's look look at that statue over there that the park has these chairs just they're not caught handcuffed to anything or chained they're just available for your use and consumption the shipbuilder sculpted by <laughs> Michael Curtis yeah. Pretty cool statue. The other night I, I came all the way down this street mm -hmm. right here. I don't know what street this is, but this little pothole area, mm -hmm. you could lose your car. <laughs> it looks like it. I'm glad I had an SUV. I don't know if that's to deter people from coming down this, this far, but it worked. Mm -hmm. Never again, huh? Never again. See, that's the difference between living in a city. Ah, uh, uh, yes. In our communities, the world's repaved seems every year. It does feel like that. It's just a lovely little walk with my lady and my camera. Two of the four loves of your life. <laughs> so over to the right, we have the condos Abraham mentioned a little earlier. Um, this is the Old Town Watermark. So they are still looking for units. And as I said, they're starting from $2.7 That's $2,700,000 for the people who find it disrespectful to just use you those. You don't want to minimize. <laughs> minimize $2 million. Okay. 
Two million dollars. So on the lower well, level, let's, let's keep on walking. I just okay. said there's a. Well, on the lower level here at the condo, there are a couple of shops. I believe we passed a little hair salon down there. There's mm -hmm. also a restaurant over here on the left hand side. So now we're at Point Lumi Lumley Park. Looks like there's a le another luxury development in the, making. in the making. Pretty sure these are probably just going to go for 2.7 million or so, just casually. There's there's been a lot of redevelopment lately, in on this old town waterfront True. area. So we have this park called Robinson Landing. This is all new. This is a new development altogether. Oh, look at the little pier that they have here, too. This is gonna be nice. Well, it's already nice. It's gonna be nicer. Look at that. I wonder if they have, they had to have already started selling these condos. I see a plant in one of them. We have to look up and see how much these condo units at Robinson Landing cost. That is fancy. You know what's... <laughs> so you have Robinson Landing, which is a new development. Then you have those people right back there that used to have waterfront property. <laughs> That's true. Or at least water view. Not water view. Oh, look at this. Look at the little seating area. That does not like it's gonna be open to the public. No, sir. No, sir. Robinson Landing, wow. Look at those seats. Let's see if we can get a little zoom action going on. There's even a little dark park over there. You see that? There's Robinson Landing. I don't know. Maybe they maybe it's for dogs that can swim. <laughs> Looks like there's a lot of baby grand pianos in the windows. A lot of artwork. Some fancy binoculars everybody's looking at this place see that this is the place you want to be if you could be at robinson landing even their their bricks are nicer excellent i think this is a great place to end this video so if you keep on walking here there's actually a park right there by the woodrow wilson bridge this trail continues on and you can actually take this trail all the way to Mount Vernon. This trail actually connects with the Mount Vernon or George Washington Memorial Highway Trail. And that's it. So this is a, a beautiful attraction that's available to you when you live in Northern Virginia. I don't know if they have this where you are, but if they don't, this is one more reason to, to come on down or come on up. Again, my name is Abraham Walker with Where to Live in Northern Virginia. If you have any questions about relocating to the area, you can reach me on my cell phone, 703-539-2053. You can call or text me your questions. You can also send me an email to abraham at askawalker.com or there's a link in the description of this video. It's called the Perfect Home Questionnaire. We can do this. We can do you can this. fill out that questionnaire and a little tandem bike there. You can fill out that questionnaire and start your relocation process. We help people relocating to the area. We also help people who are looking to upgrade their current location. Is there anything you would like to say before we sign off? 
Crystal? No, that's it. That's it. Well, thank you all for joining us on this walk. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.